Hey everyone, it's Nikki at Stardust and Wonderlust Vintage Finds. Um, this is the updated haul video from my previous video at Goodwill. Um, I'm just going to show off some of the things that we might have missed in filming. It was just too crowded and too much going on. So uh, let's get to it. Um, I have a couple of the things here. Um, I'm not sure if I was able to film this. I think this is one of the last things that I did grab, and it is stamped Italy on the back here. I don't know if that'll focus right there. Um, $2.99. There we go. And it's super cute, super dainty and fragile. Um, I didn't notice any chips. I think that's just the way that it was made is very crinkly and sharp edges but it's got this really cute pink butterfly and it's, it's just really pretty um, I haven't looked it up for comps but I would I would bet it's it's a hard find um, usually the Italian I've noticed the Italian porcelain stuff sells pretty well again I I don't really know much about antiques. I prefer vintage things because with vintage it could be anything, really. Anything 90s and prior and it's all up to the taste of the individual, the customer. And I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to my tastes. Like I like everything. So I, I tend to pick up things that I gravitate towards that I actually like. And that I feel like other people would like as well. Um, pottery. I love pottery. All pottery. I really liked this. Again, another piece that I was gravitated towards. It's this really nice seafoam green color. It's super pretty. But then I noticed inside was this like wave of turquoise. And I just thought it was really cute and very pretty. Um, it would be a great piece to just have on a coffee table as like a catch-all or you know on a vanity or you know the side of your bed or even to make as a planter so there's that and again it's unmarked it's just um you know handmade pottery maybe somebody took a class i don't know um i have a mid-century house so the I have one of these already on in my hallway and it's different like thermometer, a barometer, and humidity levels and I think you would normally find these like on a ship. Um, I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me in the comments if you know for sure. But I just thought I'd, they're really cool to look at and especially like the mid-century and it's got the little key on the back to unlock it and to set it. Mm -hmm. $3.99 for it. Wasn't bad. I don't run into these very often. This is probably maybe the third I've ever seen at a Goodwill. One being the one that we kept. But I like this one. This is really nice. I like the um, the wood on it. So, so there's that. Let's see what else. I got another bag here. This I snatched up, again, pottery, surprise, surprise. I was certain that this was a Hager, and it is not marked, but there is stickers here, and I tried to get it off without ruining it or messing it up, and it was like three Goodwill stickers on there, just layered up, ridiculous. And all of them, each of them were different prices, of course. And then, as far as I can see under here, it's just marked $3.50, like maybe from someone's garage sale, so I don't know. I, it's very reminiscent of a Hager. Um, even if it's not, it's still really cool, very mid-century, which is totally my thing, not just because I have a house that is mid-century. Um, again, I just love pottery, so it's really hard for me to s put these on eBay because I just love pottery. Um, another thing, again, another thing that I gravitate towards, I am a huge fanatic of anything iridescent. 
I have a whole collection, which one day I will make a video of my little collection because I do keep things for myself. That's initially how I got into reselling is just my love of objects. Cool, pretty, hard to find, never seen before kind of thing. And I love pretty things. I am a tomboy at heart, but I just... I love shiny pretty things, especially this. Um, it's just one cup. I, it could be federal glass, which I do have some things that are federal glass. Um, but I just thought a cute little juice glass. I could even, you know, on a vanity when I get one again. Uh, just to hold my brushes or something, my makeup brushes. Let's see. A lot of this stuff is still wrapped. I didn't even, I didn't even bother to unwrap anything. I literally came home, boxed and listed some things that I already have on my shelf back here. This is my whole room. You can only see a portion of it, which is a good thing because it is a total wreck right now. But um, all back here is just shelves of stuff that I still have to box. And then there are things that are boxed and ready to go, ready to be shipped that are listed, but it's just a mess. And then of course I go and get more stuff. So. But this little girl, so cute. Look at that face. Oh, if it wants to focus. Oh, oh there it goes. Um, so cute and dainty and little. It, it says Dabs Japan. So it is a Japanese figurine. And it is just super cute and tiny and cute. And I, I just keep saying cute. There's other adjectives and verbs, but it's adorable. this another adorable iridescent of course it's luster wear and I believe this is Japanese as well I can't see it is I'm trying to pull the sticker off the price was $1.49 by the way um, hand painted made in Japan um, I don't know I'm not familiar with marks quite yet like I know like Norotaki, Otagiri I know those marker marks and I know of those brands, but there's a lot more that I need to learn and eventually I'll get there, but right now it's all based on how I feel and how I think things look or what I think people might be into, really. But I thought this was really pretty. And it's got a little bird and these flowers just pop like a neon orange. Super pretty. And it already has the, um, the little plate rack. Which actually, I got a couple more plates. But also had plate racks. And this is another another lusterware. A little iridescent. And I believe, again, Japanese. I feel like Japanese companies are known for the lusterware. I'm sure there's other brands out there yet made in Japan that kind of copy, but I want to say that they are like the OG of lusterware. So it's that little plate. These I was pretty excited about because I, I've heard that Starbucks cups, mostly the mugs, sell pretty well. But this was a set of three, and they're really nice color. Nice blue, very artsy-fartsy, as my mom would like to say. Um... You know, just a little cappuccino in there, and just a little... It's nice. It's a set of three of those. Another super adorable figurine, little boy. Um, I think there was a mark on here. Oh no. So it looks like there used to be a tag, and it kind of wore off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that it's another Japanese company. They tend to make these little cutesy figurines, but I just thought he was adorable. And I'm not sure what he's holding. Oh, it looks like he's watering. It's where he's holding a watering can. He's gonna water the flowers. Very precious. Ah, okay. 
So the first thing that I just pulled out was this. It looked vintage, but I think it's handmade. Um, I can't tell if that says 35, but I'm going to assume it's 85. And it's got the artist... It's got the artist um, initials on there. And it's just a super adorable little bird. And leaves. And it's a toothpaste or toothbrush holder, I'm assuming. That's that's what I make out of it. I don't... I mean, it could be a utensil holder or, you know, like pencils, pens kind of thing for your desk. You could, I mean, you could literally use it for anything, to hold anything. But I think it's supposed to be for toothbrushes and toothpaste. So I thought that was really cool. Really cute. Again, cute. Everything is cute. Um, I did look this up. I thought this was pretty cool. Made in Germany, it is... Now, I don't know German, and I don't know Dutch. But it makes me think that it's either a little, a little, um, honey jar, maybe? And I believe that's what it is. Either jam or jelly. Or jam or... Jam or jelly. Either jam or honey, because obviously there's the... It's missing the spoon. But, what else do we have? Oh, here. This was really nice. I thought, I liked the, um, what is this? The coating? Not the coating, but the glaze. The glaze, that's what it is. And it is Newberry Wine. Super cool looking. A little stamp on there. And I don't know if this is original or if someone, because this looks like this was maybe fairly recently done. Because when I when I looked up comps for this, the vintage bottles they were not glazed like this, and they definitely were not painted. So I don't know if the glaze is original. If it is, that could be an indicator of how old it is. But I'm almost certain that the paint job on this is not original, and that maybe somebody turned it into like a craft art project kind of thing. It's super cute and there's the little mark made in made in Germany. Oh, it's upside down. Made in Germany. And uh, yeah, it's super cute. Again, everything's cute. Let's see what else. But still really nice. And I think it looks cool. Definitely like Christmassy. So there's that. I'm running out of space here. What else? What else? What else? You may have saw in a, like the last bit in the video. I was looking at these heart-shaped play or play clay or ceramic nesting bowls or mixing bowls and. I thought about it, and I almost got them, but then I decided to put them back. But then next to the them were these, and it's the smaller one, and I'm assuming there was a larger, uh, a middle-sized one, because this is the largest. But they were handmade, and the date, I believe, is a 1991 on there. I don't know if it focus. can't really see, but it's got the artist signature, and... This one has the artist signature as well. And I might keep these. We'll see. My husband's very gonna, gonna be just so annoyed with me because that's half of the battle is finding stuff that you like and making up your mind of whether you're gonna keep it or sell it. So that's that's half the battle of becoming a reseller. I also grabbed these because these are hard to find. These are Fiesta Ware. And they're just the saucers, but the colors are just so cool and bright and vivid. And I know there's there's like a way to tell if it's vintage or not. And they were two $2.99 for all four. But I'm sure people need replacements. So I always I always try to grab anything that requires a lid, especially like the Pyrex, any extra lids I always grab because 
I always see listings on eBay of people selling something without a lid or without the spoon or without whatever accessory that usually people want. So when I see them by themselves, I make sure to grab them. And I know Fiesta Wear is like a big, almost like Anchor Hawking or Pyrex. And it's one of those big items that people look for. So again, I don't know. I want to say if it's all caps or... So like Pyrex, if it's all caps, then it's vintage. But Fiesta, if it's lower case, it's vintage. So I'm, I think, or it, it could be that if it's all caps, but this is all caps. It's still, I mean, $2.99 for four of these. These things are heavy. Like, they're not light and they're in great condition. No chips whatsoever. So I, I did grab these. All right, let's see what else we got. So these, these are mine. I have a little, again, part of my collection, I have a little collection of squirrels, and these are just two little napkin holder guys, and I probably won't ever use them, honestly, I won't use them, but they're just so cute, look at their face, look at them, look at them, and they, they're just adorable, I think they were 99 cents, there's not even a tag, I'm pretty sure it was like a dollar for these, so I, I could not say no to these little squirrels. Figurine. This one's a big boy, and he is sweeping. He's doing some chores, some housework. A little dirty. Got to clean him up. But a cute little doggy. Cute little puppers. Again, adorable. Japanese. Relco. Never heard. Relco brand, made in Japan. I just love the faces of them. They just look so innocent and cute. I got this plate. It's a leftin. Some fruit, apples, cherries. I think they're cherries. Yeah, cherries. Peach or plum. Some grapes. There's the leftin. I'm running out of room, guys. Here's another one. This is International Table Works, Table Works, Heartland, and it is International China Company. The comps on these, I saw that they sell about 15 bucks, between 15 and 20 bucks, and so at two dollars, if I can sell it for a collector, you know, maybe they're missing this plate out of the collection. Perfect, you know, I found it for him. This is the other Starbucks cup. I don't know, but... These are the two Starbucks cups. And this I did grab like literally before I left and I I just thought it was really interesting and I don't I don't know I don't know what to think of it I just thought it was really interesting and I've never seen a statue like this and it is stamped on the bottom it is also chipped it's got a little boo-boo right there but it's the bottom so I don't feel like that's a big deal you can't really see it but and it is stamped on the bottom, and I can't tell. I want to say it's the Bulvaria, which I've, I've seen before. If anyone knows for certain, if they've seen this statue before, let me know. But I just, I just thought it was really cool. Um, 
And yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. So I, I think from here on, I will try to do a weekly visit to Goodwill, a weekly upload, and then I don't know, you guys let me know, whoever's actually watching this, let me know in the comments if I should just do me going to Goodwill, filming it, and then separately doing a haul video and showing you what I have, or do I just film what I get and that's it. I'm just, again, I'm all, this is all new, I only recently started eBay and all that. Um, back in maybe March and so this is all new I just turned my habit of going to garage sales going to Goodwill and thrift shopping into you know turning a profit these are things that I probably normally would look at or even purchase for myself so it's nothing out of the ordinary for me um, you know some of the things obviously I wouldn't keep you know, some of the figurines maybe, some of the plates. I, I do think they're cool, but they're not anything that I would personally keep or hang on my wall. But I know there are collectors out there and that they are things that people like. So why not find them for them? I, so um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to hold this like I just want a Grammy. So I kind of feel like it's like a um, leave in the comments if you have any suggestions on what I can do in terms of my channel. Again, I, I know I need to work harder with the camera. I'm using my phone right now because it's really awkward using my handheld camera, which is what I'm using right now. It's just awkward trying to push a cart and hold this big bulky camera, which is not that big. It's, it's a little handheld, but it's still awkward. Um, so... I think that's it. Um, again, like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that, and I will see you guys next time.